what Jafar was telling me to speak, speak about what? Humanitarianism of humanity of human. What does it mean? What does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? It means if we are humanitarian worker, we have to follow this trend, humanitarianism of humanity of human being. Why? Because our father, Adam, has a part of God in him. God has put the soul of him in Adam. So in each one of them, each one of us, there is this part. When we remember the story of Mary, Lady Mary, peace be upon her, and how God has put his soul in her womb to create baby Jesus. Okay, that we, you have God in you. You have God in you. Okay? You have it. And you have it. So because his soul is inside you. It has been put in Adam a long time ago. So if we are claiming that we are humanitarian worker, we have to stand for the highest standard of what God has honored us by putting his soul into our bodies. It's a big responsibility. Your job is not a job. Your job is a mission. Your job is a message. The suffering of Jesus, the suffering of Lady Mary, and the suffering of his disciples, and the companions, of the prophet, peace be upon all of them. <coughs> when you stand as a human being, you have to show your humanitarianism based on what God has put in each and every one of us. So when his soul settled in the heart and the body of Adam, it awakened the whole body, gave it the life. So in your, in your body, there is the spirit of God. In your body, there is the spirit of God. Seriously. That's one. When we feel this, when we see a child in Syria, or Myanmar, or South Sudan, or India, or Bangladesh, or Pakistan, or any part of Kathmandu, any part of the world, that our humanitarianism will awaken Day and night, <coughs> because we have the spirit of God in our body. We have his soul in our body. As a humanitarian worker, we are being blessed more and more and more. Because we have a job that we can earn money from, and we have a job to revive our soul and to save our humanity. This is our relationship between us and God. This is how God respects human beings and make them to become the custodian of the universe. To ask them to inhabit the universe and build it and construct it and save humanity. We are the custodian because we have God in our heart, we have God in our body. Coming back to what you are doing, as I said, is not a job. Don't come and tell me that at five o'clock, when you go home, you switch off, realizing the agony of the people in Aleppo, or the people in Juba, or the people in Kathmandu. No way, no way, because you are showing the humanitarians of humanity, of human being, put in your heart by the Creator Himself. Don't tell me that your job ends at certain time. This is not the message of Jesus, peace be upon him. This was not the message of Muhammad, peace be upon him. You can't sleep when you realize the agony and the suffering of the children. 
which are your children, which are your sisters, which are your brothers, your brothers, which are what you are looking for to save, and you claim that you are their champion. Can you sleep when you see them like this? No, you can't. Can you smile? No, you can't. Can you feel happy? No, we can't. Can we do that? This is our mission. Penny appeal is a vehicle that God has created for us to drive, to save humanity, and show our real humanitarian. To show it in action. To show it in compassion. To show it when we care our about peaceful that we don't have any relationship, that we don't know their names, that we don't know their background. Your job is not only for this life. Your job is for this life and for the life to come. Because you live forever on earth and in heaven. Inshallah, you should live forever. If you live for others, you live forever. But if we live for ourselves, we die soon. So I want each and every one of us in this room to live forever on earth to be felt when they are absent, to be seen when they are not with us, to be mentioned when they leave us and depart and go to the other life. <coughs> this is your mission, brothers and sisters. And God has given us penny appeal as a vehicle. Look after it to save humanity and show the humanitarianness of your humanity because you are human being and because you represent the creator of earth and because you cannot sleep and cannot smile and cannot feel happy unless we feel that we are saving others. God bless you, may Allah bless you and may Allah live you to live, live forever. In this life and eternity, in joy and peace and happiness and a very comfortable life. And I love all of you. Do you love him? Say that you love him. So he loves all of us. Sheikh, that was very moving. Thank you very much for your time and those encouraging words. Um, has anybody got any questions for Dr. Hani? Okay. I can smile. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, one, one question. You've uh, you've been involved in charity for uh, for a long time. But what what inspires you? What drives you every single day? When I feel down, I go to the field to seek my master, the child who employs me, and the widow who pay my salary, and the sick man and the sick woman who are praying for my health. Here, you come back fresh, powerful with your vision and mission and message to the world. Keep sending people to the <coughs> Keep telling them that here is the one who is making all of us to work for penny appeal. And this child, this child, oh, I know your face. This child, this child with a running nose, with 
the sticky eye. Air forty. I'm nearly naked. Is reviving my soul and our soul. Do this as a program, and you will have angels in your organization. So. Any other questions, my sir? Dr. Honey, can you just share one experience that you've had? Um, just the one in all your time in charity with us that was always <laughs> takes with you forever. Give a lecture. <laughs> <laughs> just ask something more. I tell you something. I don't know what to say. We had the difficult days and the easy days. The difficult days when people used to treat you badly. I remember <coughs> 1999 and the war between Russia and Chechen fighters or rebels in the Kurdish. I am not too sure. I went to there to Grozny. Shoot to kill area. And there was put in a co military compound as suspecting me. And there was there for about 12 hours or more. Very difficult situation. Interrogation, 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 interrogation. Our aim was to bring some photographs to show the people how those people are suffering. We managed to bring those photographs. Three, four months later on, I was the same man. After the Islamic League spent two, three million in the same area, they carpet. The big limousine with the foreign minister, foreign office minister and others. I said, I am the same man. Was nearly put in jail in your area. Now I'm in, I was in the car. Yani in a very difficult feeling, people judge you by money. People judge you by the way you wear, <coughs> by the way you look. People don't judge you by what you do for your money. This is your Zurich Bank, some call it called Zurich Bank. I used to go and dig them in the 80s in Germany. They never opened the door for us. When we had the million, they were coming to knock the door. I'm the same man. We started with no budget. We started with no office. We started with no <coughs> strategy. Talk about strategy, please. Big, big word, strategy. You have to get a consultant, give them 1,000 pounds a day or 1,000 pounds a day. <laughs> and but we started for one thing, which is what you are doing in, in Penny Appeal, is this little child in Africa, or in Asia, Latin America. You know what makes me upset? All the time I mention it. The victims of rape in DRC. This is killing me. <coughs> the agony of, I'm a Muslim, I'm very proud of being a Muslim. The agony of our Christian brothers and sisters in South Sudan at the moment, as we speak. The value of their life. This killed me because we are human beings. We have to feel that our brothers and sisters are different. Ones. I can look at this young girl. Once raped in DRC, automatically raped by everybody, whether it's from the military or security or from the community. She is my daughter. She is my sister. This is what we want to have our penny appeal message about. This is what 
makes me upset when I keep remembering the RC. When I keep remembering, because I had a very nice time. And South Sudan, with my Christian brother and sisters, 15 years or 14 years ago. And I cannot see them having the same suffering on and off of political reasons. All about politics, all about political power, nothing about human dignity, nothing about citizens. What's happening in Syria is something you can't imagine. The whole world is watching it live. And you are not here. It's about politics. It's about politics. We became very cheap. Because we lost the spirit of God that he has brought you to the earth. Thousand, thousand of years ago. The animal become more compassionate than us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's been a pleasure and honor. Thank you very much for your time. For your advice and uh, what you've shared with us today. Can we all have a round of applause? as well in terms of being on the field you just come back yesterday do you want to share anything kind of um, just reflection whilst we've got here everybody here I tell them some sometimes feelings and emotions go into that having been out there and experienced the love and the warmth and the friendship and the people there that would wouldn't ask for help but so need so much help. Um, the people we went to see, you know, we, we, we loaded cool boxes up full of drinks to keep us cool and hydrated during the daytime. And as a group, we shared those drinks with everybody else that needed it, more so than we did. Um, we have very, we have a good understanding of compassion and what it means to be compassionate to people. But until you actually experience it and go out there and feel it with your own heart, the compassion of um, doing good to try and help people that are so less fortunate than ourselves. We come in here and we do a nine to five job um, and, and we think, well, that's our job done. As, as Dr. Alex said there, at five o'clock, the job's done, we, we go home. Um, I will never, ever forget um, the people that I've been with in the last four to five days um, and the good work um, that have been taken to an area where brothers and sisters don't have anything in the region of you know, life that we have over truly humbled by the experience that uh, in the, the group of 15 of us um, experienced out there. Um, I, I'm quite positive that the group of 15 of us that were there will never ever lose contact because of the experiences we've shared <coughs> over the last few days. And I, I truly want to say the most humblest thank you. I can't I thank you enough for the experience that, that we I went through over the last few days. Um, I now have a completely, I'm, I'm always passionate, I'm a staff, you know, I'm a trainer, I'm passionate about everything that I do, but believe in me, I'm completely passionate. I now have a, 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 you know, a, a completely different passion as to what we need to do here now, um, having seen the good that we do and have done in, other, you know, in, in the Gambia. Um, I, I now want us to do so much more, and I've got to try somehow to put something together for, from us here to do something that not only provides aid 
for one opportunity, but something that will go on and continue to grow and provide support and help for our brothers and sisters um, that so desperately need it. Um, children nowadays want the most high-tech gadgets and you know the, the, the most labelled things that they can have. Um, having experienced a child being so excited about the fact that somebody gave him an onion, um, <laughs> of thing, an onion, um, this child you would have thought we had given him the best PlayStation, Game Station, console and, and, and clothing that could have been provided. We gave him an onion um, and this child was so overjoyed. He ran to show his mother and his mother was so pleased and humbled she came up giving her child an onion um, and we, we don't realise that in here um, as to how much good work we do here as to the, the end result on it and I, I personally want to say thank you to everybody here for the work that you do um, because if it wasn't for every single one of you in this room um, we wouldn't have been able to go out there and provide for people in, in the Gambia and you know that was just one of 30 plus countries that we, we operate in. Um, I now have a complete passion to go out and experience more of these countries so that I can try and bring more back. I, I have taken quite a lot of photos and I've taken some videos and I'm going to put something together and share it with you all over the coming days. Um, but 27 hours travel yesterday, um, yeah, I'm quite tired today. Um, we've also, sorry, Matt, we've also got photos from the wider group as well. Yes. There's some groups who went and built the wells and stuff. Yes. Yeah. We've got something amazing. Um, uh, David, we put something together for the Friday Hunt only to share that around. Because it wasn't just an onion, it was the food packs and yeah. onion sacks and the whole yeah. story that went behind there as well. Yeah. It was amazing. But yeah, please, please keep sharing your opinion. Yeah, uh, you know, and, I, and I, I can't wait to, to share everything with you all. And, and that's what we do is. Mm. You know, the humanitarian cause is it's about helping our brothers and sisters, it's about helping each other to be able to do something else better and do something to be able to help other people um, and that's why we should, why we all work for charity you know, it, it's what difference we can make and I, I now never will be it's a bad block going home <laughs> never um, I've never been that person really anyway but um, now I I totally understand even more the passion of the good work that we do and, and the difference it does make um, to other people's lives. So, right, thank you very much for sharing. <laughs> Eric, as a new trustee, is there anything that you want to share? No, or it's, or? it's great to hear uh, <coughs> experiences like that and realise what, what good we do. Yeah. And I just want to help to contribute towards that in the future. Do what I can to yeah. uh, make us more effective in the years ahead. Yeah. I'll be digging wells. Okay. Yeah, I've got spared. <laughs> 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 Everyone's obviously got their own reasons. Um, and probably. Hopefully it's more than financial reasons everyone's here. Um, I would like to get to know uh, you and you, and um, I would like to help any of you in the future as well. See what I can do. More hands on. Thank you very much. Round of applause for everybody. Thank you. Thank you. There's pizza somewhere, so I don't know. Follow your noses, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, help, help yourself, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks again for coming down. <coughs>